Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and another month has gone by, and I got through a lot of candles. May has been a whirlwind month for me. I feel like I just snapped my fingers and it's already May. So that's exciting. We're starting to get into warm weather, which you know I do not enjoy. So I will be spending most of my time in the air condition, soaking up all of that AC and amazing fragrance that I can. But it is also an interesting time for fragrance because when it is super warm outside and your AC like mine is blasting at home, you tend to not get the best performance. And I've already noticed that with some of my wax and candles that I'm not getting the performance that I expected from it with the weather. And yeah, so again, we'll get all into that. So my bin is full. Another month has passed. Without further ado, let's get into it. We're just going to dive right in with two book loft candles. Now, I did so well at not purchasing any candles from Bath & Body Works, but book loft really spoke to me. I actually have the wallflowers going in my living room. So my idea for May was I really want to have, I just wanted to try the whole one fragrance idea. So I have a wallflower plug in my kitchen and I have a wallflower plug in my living room and I put book loft in each of them and I put them on the high speed of the scent control and then I bought two book loft candles. So anytime that I was home for the night or home throughout the day, I lit my candles but I had the book loft fragrance going in my open area for not the whole month, probably half of the month. I could barely smell this. It was really sad. I really love this fragrance. The notes are none. Cozy up under a blanket as you turn the pages of your favorite book. Now, I will say, both of these candles performed really well for me, which is shocking for Bath & Body Works. The performance was really great on both of these from beginning to end, burn-wise. Fragrance-wise, I really got nothing from them. I had one in my living room on my coffee table and I had one in the kitchen or in the dining room on my dining room table. And I had both of them going sometimes, just one, just the other, just depended on my mood that day. And I did not get performance from them at all. And honestly, smelling the candle now, like typically there is still some wax left in the bottom. So you would expect to still get some sort of throw. I got nothing from it, absolutely nothing from this candle. And it made me super sad. So I unplugged the wallflower from my living room and put it in my bathroom. I can smell it in my bathroom. My bathroom is about this big. So, and it's on high and I can smell it, but it's not like knocking me out over the head or anything like that. So it is what it is. But this fragrance reminds me, it's actually a pretty good dupe of Les Papiers from Diptyque, which is a very high-end candle brand. They also make perfumes. That fragrance is actually a perfume first, but they are releasing in the summer uh, that version in a candle. So I will try the Diptyque version to see if it compares to this in Strength and Throw. I would hope for $74 that it would perform a little bit better than these, which you can get on sale for like $10 on a promotion. So yeah, not very happy with the performance, but I loved the vessels too. Like these vessels were perfect for my aesthetic. The gold lid, the gray, this is totally like my apartment vibes. So I loved the aesthetic, the fragrance, not so much. This was one, I loved the fragrance, but I didn't love the performance. Uh, Yankee Candle, this is Gold Canyon Pine Trail. This was actually a free candle for my birthday. You can get a free large jar on your birthday if you spend a certain amount throughout the year. I don't remember how much it was, but I picked this out because it smells just like Fall Into Love from Scentsy, and I love Fall Into Love. It's in my club. It's this like eucalyptus-y pine fragrance, but it has a little bit of a sweetness from the apple. It's beautiful. It's such a great fragrance. And it's nothing if I looked at the notes that I would ever expect to like, but when I burned or melted that fragrance from Scentsy, 
It's club worthy. I love it. I don't even think it's a fall fragrance. I feel like it's a great fragrance to burn or melt all year long. Clearly, this came out in the summer collection for Yankee. Do you see that soot? Like, look at how sooty this guy was. This thing burned high. Now, this was a Yankee candle that did perform well for me. Strength, throw, anytime I lit the fragrance, I could smell it. But after two hours, they were flamethrowers. So again, you can't really, you can either balance great performance and no throw or great throw, bad performance. So it's really hit or miss for me with these brands and with this one. The performance wasn't great, but the throw was outstanding. Really love this. If you like outdoorsy fragrances, I do think because there is so much left on the bottom, I will pop this out, put it in a warmer, or pop the little bit that's left in a candle crock and get the last bit of fragrance out of it, melting it, because I did love this fragrance. So I would repurchase Canyon Pine Trail if you like fall into love from Scentsy, or if you've never tried it. Now, I'm on a mission to burn through my Kringle Reserve candles that are the opaque black jars. They recently changed into translucent black, which I prefer. I feel like half of the excitement and experience of burning a candle is the flame and seeing the ambiance. And with those reserve jars previously, you didn't know if they were lit or not, unless you smelled them, you know? So I really love that now they're super translucent. I'm burning a country candle right here. So totally not, but I am burning a country candle, which will be emptied in probably my next empties video. But anyway, so these guys were not translucent. They were still the opaque ones. And in my living room, kitchen, dining room area, I like to burn two candles, either the same or different, like cocktail my candles, for example, just to really come up with my own blend to really get a great strength and throw in there. And I thought these together would be perfect. It's the herbs and spice and the sweet and savory from Kringle in the reserve line. Let me tell you, these were phenomenal. I loved them. Herbs and Spice, I actually was doing in my dining room, and Sweet and Savory, I was doing in the living room. Okay, let's talk about them individually. Herbs and Spice, and as you can see, burned down absolutely to the bottom like all Kringle Reserves do. Oh, Kringle, you know, in these cylinder jars do. This is an awesome scent. It's very herbal, not as spicy. Like, you know if you open a fresh jar of herbs and you stick your nose in it, it kind of like makes you sneeze because it's so overwhelming. This is like all those beautiful aromas of the herbs without that, you know, achoo. Achoo? You know what I mean. Like that sneeze factor. So I really liked that. I didn't get much spice. I did just get these really fresh green herbs. Parsley, thyme, oregano, all those fresh herbs. Really a beautiful fragrance, really fresh, crisp, and green. Paired with the sweet and savory, which, oh my gosh, this also burned absolutely down completely. This is like that rich molasses bread like you get at the Cheesecake Factory. It's sweet, it's savory, it's crusty bread, it's beautiful. And burning both of these together was like you walked into an Italian bakery, but like a like bread shop. You got the best aroma in my living room, kitchen, dining room area. Oh, every time I had this combo lit, I was so happy in my space. I literally could not get over them. The combo, outrageous, 10 out of 10. I would highly recommend purchasing both of these, purchasing them together. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador which does mean I earn a commission if you do purchase them. These are originally $34, but if you use my discount code DrewDoc15, you do save 15%. Again, I like to put that disclaimer out there. I did purchase these, I believe, with my own money. Or did I get this as PR? I think I got this one as PR and I purchased this one. These were so long ago, I honestly can't remember. But anyway, thank you if you do participate in using my code. I do really appreciate it, but... I would not be a Kringle ambassador if I did not absolutely love the brand. So also putting that out there. 
Oh, I finished a Goose Creek candle. As you see, it went in the crock because the performance on Goose Creek candles is just abysmal to me. At first, I thought they were going to be really great. I heard these grave, rave reviews that, oh, they've changed. They're not as sooty. They're not as smoky. Wrong. They are super smoky. They are super, super sooty. And... I just can't deal with it. So they go right into my crock. I don't even have to think about it. And this was Custard. And I actually got this because I I had a cat named Custard. Short-lived. Did not go... Not, the cat's not dead. But being with my family was short-lived. It just... That cat was meant to be an alone cat. Did not interact well with my other cats. So... Uh, he went back to his owner. This was years ago. But anyway, um, this was like a strawberry shortcake type of smell. And it was nice. It was fine in the crock. But, you know, Goose Creek is not one that is a favorite of mine. I finished a Rosewater and Ivy Single Wick from Bath & Body Works. This was a tester candle. I got it semi-annual sale. Soft Rose Petals, Rain Kissed Ivy, Spring Musk. These Single Wicks are so light, I can never smell them. So... I just mainly burned this as an ambiance candle. I finished this guy, which was sent to me in PR. And honestly, it's just not a brand for me. It's called Soil and Wax. And they are essentially a candle company. They make wood wicks, as you see. Super, super sooty wood wicks. They don't crackle or anything, but... When you burn them, once it's done, you can pop that wick out, wash out the vessel, and they send you a little plant kit, like soil and stuff, and you can turn this jar into a planter. Super fun, super novelty, but the candles are just not that great. Um, the fragrance is Eve. It was supposed to be like a rose fragrance. I could never smell it. I burned it in my bedroom. I even tried it in my bathroom. I never, ever could smell the scent. And it seemed like once you burned it for the first time, it burned off all the oils. So then you really never smelled it for the rest of the jar. So I just burned this as an ambiance candle, which again, it being completely solid, there really wasn't any ambiance. So this is just going to go into the recycling bin. I might try using the planter in it, but it was not anything to write home about. All right, now let's move on to the wax melts. I did quite a bit of wax this week or this month. Let me try to find, I definitely did a pair. All right, from Scentsy, these are all Scentsy. I did Tahitian Twilight, two bars of these. Um, This was fine. I really couldn't smell it. It was kind of just a background scent. It's like a pineapple-y, perfumey body care fragrance. Like, no joke, the name Tahitian Twilight. If I saw Bath & Body Works lotion or spray called Tahitian Twilight, I'd be like, yep, yeah, that's what I would think that would smell like. Like, just a plain, basic, fruity body care. And it didn't throw the best. I used it when I had my AC on. Speaking of a scent that had zero throw with the AC, Amazon Rain. I thought I would love this scent. I think I tried it years ago, and I hear from so many people that this is a powerhouse. I popped in two bars of this in my living room, dining room, kitchen area with my AC on, and I smell zip. Zero, nothing. I smelled nothing from this clamshell. And it's a good smell. It's fresh. It's cream. It's green. It's green. It's really crisp and fresh, but... I didn't get any performance from it, so super, super sad about that one. Um, hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend. I popped in red, white, and berry pie in my bedroom. Oh my gosh. I actually haven't even taken this out of the warmer. I'm burning a candle in there now. I just have the warmers off, but this has been going for two days. This is great. It's like, isn't this like cherry blueberry pie? I don't really get any pie note from it. It just smells more like the filling in a pie. And I thought it was pretty celebratory for the weekend and really fitting. I really love this. It is in my club. It is a great performer from Scentsy. So my bedroom really does great with Scentsy. I did peach and grapefruit mimosa. I was actually doing this one in my bathroom. And again, really like this. This is real sweet, real fruity. The peach is not like cat pee, which I know a lot of times peach scents can come across that way. This one does not. It's a rich, juicy peach. 
a little bit of the fruitiness from the grapefruit and like an effervescence of the mimosa. It's really nice. I think this was the Easter collection, if, I, if I'm if i not mistaken. It's not my club or anything. I don't think I have any more. It was nice. It was a good performer. Oh, Garden Fresh Gardenia. I actually just took that out of the warmers in the office. I was pleasantly surprised from this because I do not care for gardenia fragrances. This is new from Scentsy. Uh, this was part of like the Blossom. I always forget that name, the Blooming Collection. It's very green and fresh. I know some people said there's like a plastic note that comes from this. And I do smell that on cold. When it went in the warmers, I didn't really get that. Anytime I walked into the office here, I was like, oh, that's pleasant. I enjoy that. Most of the time I put scents that I don't really care for in the office because I, I'm not in here like 24-7. It's more of a, I'll go in, see how it smells. The cats have a little uh, sitting area here in like a bed. So I'll come in and play with the cats or something. But yeah, so I popped this in here and I was pleasantly surprised from it. It's not club worthy or anything. Lilacs and Violets, another one that I do really like. I don't feel like it's an authentic lilac fragrance. The violet definitely is more powerful than the lilac. And there's just so many other fragrances that are more authentic lilac than this. But it was pretty, it was a pretty floral. I will say it did perform well, but it kind of gave me like Febreze. Like when this was going, I did this in my bedroom. Anytime I walked into my bedroom when this was going, I was like, it smells like I sprayed Febreze in here. Like it smells fresh, it smells clean, but it does not smell like a Scentsy bar or lilacs or violets. It kind of just smelled like a clean, fresh, as I knock everything over, um, a clean, fresh Febreze spray. This was pleasantly surprising, vanilla bean buttercream. I did this one in my bedroom. I love this. Look how, look how yellow the clam was getting and it's not even super old. I don't think I ever melted vanilla bean buttercream on its own. I, I feel like vanilla bean buttercream is one of those scents that's like, oh yeah, it's vanilla bean buttercream. It's always there. And I had this in my stash and I was like, I don't know what I want. You know what? I want something really basic, just a good creamy vanilla. I was going to melt the new very vanilla, but I looked and this was older in my stash. I'm like, you know what? Let me try this and use it up. I loved it. Every time I walked in my bedroom, I was like, Oh, yum. This is pleasant. It's a real creamy, rich vanilla frosting. Nothing more, nothing less. It threw well, lasted a couple days. I was very, very happy with the performance on that one. Now, this very, very juicy clam is Magnolia Linen. I did this one in my bathroom. I think I've said before, I have like a stack of four or five bars and I pop two cubes in my bathroom warmer and every couple days, sometimes it's even once a week, I change it and I just rotate through that stack of bars and as they finish, I pop them in my bin here for empties. And Magnolia Linen was one of the rotations and this was nice. It's so strong in the clam, but when you melt it, it really mellows out. It's really just a fresh laundry fragrance, like a very floral laundry detergent. Again, like vanilla bean buttercream, I said, nothing more, nothing less. I don't think it's super complicated. I don't think it's overly unique or anything like that. So it's not my club or anything. I don't believe it's in the catalog anymore, but it was nice. Every time I walked in the bathroom, I was in, you know, I said, oh, that smells great. This was in my bedroom right before I took, right before I put in a red, white, and berry pie. Glorious grapefruit and... This is fine. Um, it definitely smells like grapefruit. It's very fruity, but it has like a green undertone to it that every time I walked in the bedroom, I noticed. I didn't hate it or anything, but it wasn't anything necessarily to write home about, but I enjoyed it. So yeah, glorious grapefruit. Um, I still have a few things of fantasy wax and this I actually had going in the main space in my living room during 4th of July, or 4th of July, Memorial Day, I popped in, I have two tea light warmers. I cut these scent shots in half, and I did one half of each in each tea light. Fresh picked strawberry, blueberry cobbler. I did not like this. Her fresh picked strawberry is like real perfumey and artificial, and I smelled that. The blueberry cobbler, 
also did not smell like blueberry cobbler. It smelled like a blueberry, like, Barbie doll, if Barbies were scented. Like, it smelled like plastic. So, I did not like either of that combination, and I was happy to see it done. Um, oh my gosh, how funny is this? I just popped a wallflower in downstairs. I swear I grabbed Midnight Blue Citrus. And every time I walk in, I'm like, that doesn't really smell like Midnight Blue Citrus. Interesting. I, I, I don't know. I just didn't think that it really smelled like what it was. It's first sight. So, that would make sense. Italian Bergamot Rich Woods and Sugar Musk is first sight from Bath & Body Works. And... I like this. This smells very similar to Baccarat Rouge 540, Ariana Grande Cloud. Apparently not like Midnight Blue Citrus. Surprise. So funny. That is so funny. Like, I just had this epiphany right now. Like, I'm literally going through my bin and I'm like, when did I use this? I'm like, wait a minute. My wallflowers are in here. Guarantee if I went through this, I would find Midnight Blue Citrus because that's what I thought I pulled out. So this is going in my entryway downstairs. As far as like body care stuff, I didn't finish much. I finished a shower jelly from Lush and Princess Peach. Oh, I did not like this. Oh, this was like a sickening sweet peach. I haven't used Lush products in a long, long time ever since I worked there. I don't even play video games, but the Mario collab for some reason really sucked me in. Again, I don't really know why, but... I picked up this, I picked up the Bowser shower jelly, the Mario, and the Luigi shower gels, and I just got around to using the jellies, and I remember why I didn't like them. What a pain in the ass to use. Just saying. You pick it up, and it's literally like jello to rub on your body. It falls around. It It's just a hot mess. So it lasted like three washes before I was over it and let it dissolve down the sink, because I was like... This is a hot mess and I don't like it. So I finished that. And then I finished a, another moisturizer from Skin Rocks by Caroline Hyrens. The moisturizer. I love this face cream. This is the fragrance free version. Finished that. Called that one a day. Again, really enjoyed it. Probably will repurchase it. Um, I don't know though because I'm really into this new brand that I'm working on a video. If you saw me in New York City, you saw a sneak peek and I'm working on getting that whole video together. I would love to have it uploaded by Friday. We will see. I really want to edit it and really want to sit down and make the video really great, really just thorough, knowledgeable. So anyway, um, I did like this moisturizer. I like the way it felt on my skin and I enjoyed using it. It's pretty pricey for a moisturizer um, because I get it from the UK and yeah, I mean, it's fine, whatever. Anyway, my bin is empty, which means it's time to get to burning, get to melting, get to using all my products and filling you in on what I thought. How was your May? Did you have any highlights for the month? Let me know down below anything that you would not repurchase. I am waiting patiently, not so patiently, for Kringle Four Wick Candles because Mick teased them and they look beautiful. I love that he's using the real, like, big Kringle label on them with the K embossed on the lid. They look beautiful. And I love that it's not like a Homeworks Four Wick where it looks like the normal size. Like, it looks nice and big. It looks like a luxury candle, like a good centerpiece candle, a good coffee table candle. So I cannot wait to get my hands on the Kringle Four Wicks. So hopefully soon, there is a new Kringle launch on June 3rd or June, June 6th for a Kringle Country Candle. I'll make a little video teasing that for you guys if you're interested. There's a couple in there that I have my eye on and they said they're improving the wicks, which is something that I love about Kringle. I guess since we are talking about Kringle, I will go ahead and show you. It is in a holder right now, but can you see that burn? Let me see if I can get on there. You see that burn? I'm burning the Country Candle Cotton Flowers. It's actually burning really, really well for me. Again, I'll talk about it when I do empties videos, but I'm really enjoying it. The strength and throw is nice, 
and I'm having good luck. Whoops, look at the focus on that with the burn. So we shall see. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you uh, that way you get up up alerted. Oh, it's been a long week. That way you get alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys so much. Bye.